Kaepernick almost pulled it off. Yeah. He's got confidence now. Hey, think of it, man. Safeties are playing so far back because they know he might run. Yeah. And he's a big guy. Don't think of him as like, you know, some little, look at all the wide receivers that take a shot right up the middle. Whoa, whoa, he's got weight whoa, on whoa, them. Hold on, hold on, the car. What? I think I see something. Jesus, man. God. Nine Ab, one forty four. Young Caucasian female covered in bruises and lacerations, break, including the ligature marks on the throat area. She actually looks like she could be associated with our recent missing persons case. Can you go ahead and start a major crime scene to my location? Smells great, honey. Sweetie. Any news, Dad? Oh, same old boring stuff. Oh, except the state championships this week. Yeah. Is Coach Half and have you uh, practice on Sunday? Yeah, well, the tournament starts next month, so yeah, we're gonna have uh, training every Sunday now. Oh, you are. What time are you coming home tonight, son? Practice ends at 6. I should be home by 6.30. Okay. Yeah. Want me to pick you up after practice? Mm-mm. Don't bother. You sure? Yeah. I like running home after training. Can't believe your energy level. Mm. Yeah. I actually got to run, but... Oh, yeah. son. You do love me. Yeah, nothing says I love you like bacon. Wrap it up. Yeah, got it. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Hey. Bye. Check your cell, baby. All right. You got it. All right, Dad. Remember, 6.30. Yep. Be home. Got it. All right, pick it up. Come on, let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Come on, guys. All right, good job, guys. Good work today. Okay, tighten up, guys. Everything good? Any questions with anything? You guys are looking good. Speed's good. Let's stay focused, somewhat. Um, so I think we're we're gonna be pretty well. Yeah. Pretty well this week. Any questions at all? Anything? Good job, guys. Nice good hustling there. Good, good job. Good, 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 good. You guys feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah. Well, here comes Charlie. Out of here. All right, See you, bud. All right, guys. What's up, Charlie? How you doing, man? Hey, man. Hey, Dave, we're going to go see some movies tonight, man. You coming? Uh, no, actually, I promised my dad I'd go to the game with him tonight. All right, dude. I'll yeah. see you tomorrow, man. All right, man. First, First thing in the morning. Tomorrow. Got it.
Call me. Carrie, honey, carry the phone. I got it. Dr. Richard, these are David Donner's parents. David, how is he? Mr. Donner, David was involved in a car accident a couple of hours ago. He was brought into the hospital one hour ago. Oh my God, where is he? He had a serious skull fracture and internal bleeding. Head, what does that mean? David passed away 25 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Give her a chair, please. <laughs> Driver. Is that why they're here? Sir, huh? We're looking for the suspect right now. Find, find him then. We're trying. Then find him. Find the murder of my son. I must see my son. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Gave a sedative to your wife, Mr. Donner. There is the issue of the body to identify. It's an unavoidable formality, I'm afraid. You can get a relative to come in if you wish. Take your time. It's David. It's my son.
I always thought that after funerals were for comforting siblings, family members, and friends of the departed. For real? They're meaningless. The real ones in pain are the mother and father. I'm sorry, do I know you? My name is Dr. William Hobson. Are you from the neighborhood? No, I live downtown. I work at the hospital. I'm head of the psychiatric department. David was brought into our ER after the accident. I'm very sorry for your loss, Gordon. Thank you. I lost my daughter, Samantha, years ago. She was 18. First year in college. I'm sorry to hear that. I am. But can I ask you a question? Is this a service of the hospital? Sending a psychiatrist? Because I honestly don't think I really need one right now. I don't need to see a shrink. No offense. None taken. I run a small therapy group downtown. People like you, people like me. We get a chance to share our feelings, lighten the burden. It isn't something I do for the hospital. I meet in my private office downtown. Knowing you're not alone may help to ease that grievance. You're welcome to come, Gordon. I hope to see you there. And please, give your wife my condolences. Mr. Donner, in the U.S., 13% of car crashes are hit and runs. In this city, that percentage is 40%. 107 people lost their lives last year in hit and run collisions. The city's like a war zone. I'm not even including murders, suicides, fights, etc. In hit and run cases, if the driver turns themselves in, they just serve six months to a year in jail, and then they get out on the streets again. Now, in David's case, we're working on some evidence. But I'm going to be honest with you. The street where the collision happened, it has no camera records. It was a residential area. Everybody was in their houses, probably waiting for the big Sunday game to start on TV. There are just no eyewitnesses. What about the neighbors? Were they questioned? Or restaurants, bars in the area? Somebody knows something. I mean, I really do understand your pain. And I don't, I don't think you do. You have no idea how many families I deal with every day. Now, we are dealing with dozens of hit and runs right now. David's case is one of them. I give you my word on this. We are on it. Yes. Yeah. OK, in a minute. Is that, is that it? I'm just one more of the many victims family members. Unfortunately, I have to say yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some work to do, Mr. Donner.
folding clean laundry. I want to say I'm uh, really sorry for your loss. Thanks, Robert. Uh, no. Yeah. Did um. Did you hear anything from the police? Any leads? On... No, not a thing. Police know nothing. How's everything at home? Uh, how's Carrie? Carrie, you know, Carrie, Carrie, she's. I guess she's holding it together. Uh, I need to leave the office for a couple of hours today. Things I need to take care of. Okay.
Donner. I'm here to see Dr. William Hobson. You're Gordon. Yeah. Hi, I'm Karen. I heard about your son. It must have taken a lot of courage for you to come here. Thanks. Come on in. We'll be starting in a few minutes. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Well, okay, well, let's get started. We have a new member to our group. As we are welcoming Gordon to the group for the first time, let's start out with introduction, shall we? I am Antonio Regatta. I'm a former narcotics detective. I am here because my partner was killed four years ago in a shootout. I wasn't with her that day, and uh, things started crashing down all around me. I started having blackouts. Add to that alcohol and drugs and, well, the department frowns on that, so I resigned. This group and the good doctor have helped me to cope with my pain. Thank you, Antonio. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. Hello, Gordon. I'm Karen. Last year, my husband had a car accident. A drunk driver was in the wrong lane on the highway and hit him head on. He was in a coma for two months, and he died eight months ago. But William really helped me to accept my loss and to meet it head on. And uh, I'm really lucky to have all these people as my friends. And we're really glad you're here with us. Thank you, Karen. It's OK, Michael. You just need to tell us who you are and why you are here. Just share what you're comfortable with. I'm Michael Dorothy. My boyfriend and I were celebrating my 32nd birthday. We went for dinner at the Oyster Haven. I hated oysters, but he loved them, so I pretend to love them too. I mean, that's what you do, right? People you love. He liked them on the half shell with a little bit of lemon and horseradish. And yeah, I really started liking it too. <laughs> I'm rambling. Um, we were walking back to the subway. And a man insulted us on the street. He called us faggots. Brian wanted to protect me, so he went up to the man, and the man stabbed him in the chest. He did this to my face. Brian died there right in my lap on the sidewalk, and the man just walked away and laughed. They never found the man that stabbed Brian. And he's still out there somewhere, I don't, I don't know. Gordon, it's your turn. <clears throat> I'm Gordon Donner. Uh, a week ago, my son David was running back home after his basketball practice. He was 16. He was hit by a car in the neighborhood. He died shortly after he was taken to the hospital. And they say if the driver had stopped and called for help, that he might have lived. We salute you for your honesty and sincerity, Gordon. One thing you'll know about this group, we are family. You can share anything you need. You won't be judged. 
Not going to be easy. <laughs> Not going to be easy. It's going to be painful sometimes. And, but you will be successful. Hey. Hey, coffee. No, thank you. I'll be up all night. Okay. <laughs> What'd you think? Well, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Gordon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. See you next week. Okay. All right. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Michael has some social issues. I can see that. He's really a great guy. You'll like him when you get to know him. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Hobson's great. He really helps. You'll see when you spend more time with him. How did you meet Dr. Hobson? At the hospital. It was the day I decided to let my husband go. He was in a coma, but there was no brain activity. It's the hardest decision I ever made in my life. I imagine it was. Gordon W, get out. Fucking cog sucker. Fuck you. Yeah. Hey, knock it off. I'm sorry. I didn't know who to call. Well, you called the right person. Sign here. Thank you. You too. Doctor. Property next window. Thank you. I took the liberty of towing your car. No charge. But you can't deal with this pain by beating up drunk guys. Fuck him. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Come on. That's a fuck. Yeah, I know. I know. You're right. It was a mistake. I mean, I see your point. I'm gonna fight these guys. But this is not the way to do that, Gordon. There are other ways. I'll get you home. Well, let's get you cleaned up first.
How can I help you? I need to speak to Sergeant McGinty, please. Sergeant McGinty just walked into a meeting right now. That's okay, I can wait. Sir, his meeting will likely be a few hours. You can leave a message if you want. I want to know more about the David Donner case. It was a hit and run, happened 10 days ago. I'm his father. Sir, I'm sorry, but this is still an open case. I can't give you any more information. Look, if you want to schedule a meeting with Mr. McGinty, then... You know what? I do want to leave him a message. Tell him I want to know what the fuck the police are doing to find my son's murderer. Pardon me, sir, but you can't talk like that in here. Oh, really? I can't? Officer uh, Malloy, tell me. How the fuck should I talk? Hey, hey, hey. Relax. You don't need to handle me. This is ridiculous. Fuck should I talk? Hands off me! Hey, it's all right. I know him. Let him go. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you, officer. Go, Gordon. Go on. Thanks, sir. Did you talk to the police? Yes, I did. And it's tough because they don't tell me much. So I'll try not to dwell on it too much. And in the meantime, you need to take your pills. Take them? Why? To forget about David? No. No, to accept the fact that he is gone. The fact? The fact that every time I look at your face, I see my David. Tell me how to forget that. Tell me. You're not the only one who has to live through all of this. I hurt too. But where is he? Where is the driver? Where is the man who killed my son? Why don't they do something? Calm down. Take it easy. Don't. Tell me to calm down and don't tell me to take it easy. And don't look at me like that. Don't you dare pity me, Gordon. You don't know how this feels. Actually, I do. Let's have dinner. Carrie, I'm sorry. Where's Michael? Oh, I called, no answer. Okay, well, let's start with Adam. Today, we're gonna talk about Wishes and desires. Gordon, what do you wish for in life? I wish I could go back to the day I lost David. I'd ask him what he thought of me, if I was a good dad to him. I wish I had picked him up from practice that day. You know, every night I close my eyes and I think of the driver who hit David and then just left him there. He's still out there somewhere, living life, walking, eating, laughing, fucking. What I wish is that God's justice really did exist. I could rest assured that that person would be getting what he deserved. Well, revenge, that 
It's a powerful feeling. It's like a, it's like a poison. And if you don't get rid of it, they could consume your life. If you were to find that guy, what would you do to him? Would you punish him or forgive him? I guess I believe in a little of both. And I've always seen myself as, as a decent person, a person who obeys laws and believes in them, a person who is capable of forgiving. And I've always seen myself as a person who would never do harm to another human being. So if I am to answer your question, Doctor, I guess it comes down to what kind of person I am today. And if I were to look deep into my hidden depths, I think I'd see someone much different. Uh, let me guess. I, let's, all right. What are you doing? I told you not to do anything, didn't I? Well, get your ass in here. Get on back. God damn it, Michael. Get on the fuck back here, man. What did you do? God damn it. Come on. Get the fuck in here. What the fuck do you think you're doing, man? Huh? You don't need to go in there. It's all right. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. What the hell happened? <sighs> Probably had a fight. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm always pushing him to take his medication every day, and he probably didn't. Look, I'll take care of Michael. Let's just end this session today, all right? Gordon, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you both. Hey, let's just go, okay? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Karen, just wait a minute. All that blood, and you think it's okay? Oh, he's had a couple of fights before, and this is probably just the last one. I mean... What has happened before? Yeah, but William can't force him to take his meds. You can just sort of remind him, and when he doesn't, this is what happens. Come on. Come on. You say so. Hey, do you want to get some coffee? Well, that was some crazy shit back there. The state wanted to have Michael committed after he had that last breakdown at work. And William convinced the authorities to release Michael into this um, doctor-sponsored probation so that Michael would be under William's control. But Michael lost his boyfriend and his job, and I can understand how he feels. Understand him? Are you serious? Maybe what Michael needs is to be in an institution. Right. Well, Yes, after an incident like this, I'm sure he'll, he'll probably be committed. You're right. I would think so. Yeah. Sorry. Hi. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah, see you. Everything all right? Yeah, it's what I thought. Michael got into a fight in a bar and... William and Antonio are taking care of it. Oh. Okay. What? What's wrong? I forgot my jacket. It's okay, I'll go back for it later. It's okay. okay. Well, good night, Gordon. Good night, Karen. Thank you. 
fucking idiot. I'm so sorry. You are? Yeah. Live by the sword, die. Antonio. Hey. Same as usual? Sure. Yeah. <sighs> Same as always? Yeah, sure. By your friend. Uh, give me a pug. Pug? <laughs> Ugly dog. And you're obviously a regular here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Off the wagon, huh? Never on, never off. Ah, uh, moderation. Even that's been a challenge for me lately. Okay. But I'm managing. Speaking of managing, how is, how's Michael? He's okay. Yeah? I broke his parole. We had to intervene, but uh, he's clean now. What do you mean he's clean? I mean, what's the problem? He had a fight. Stitches. He got stitches? Yeah, well, not him, the uh, other guy. Uh -huh. uh, but I talked to him. He said he wouldn't sue, so... It's good news. Yeah. He's lucky. Mm -hmm. Get your ass sued for hitting someone. Yeah. How you doing? I don't even know how to answer that question right now, Antonio. Let's, uh... Get some air, what do you say? Smoke one. <sighs> hey, now, you want money? Please. All right. Be nice, on you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later, pal. Thank you. You know, I saw you and Michael that day. What day? Last week, after our group session. Oh. In the parking lot. I'd forgot my jacket, so I went back to get it. Oh, yeah. True as me. I mean, it's pretty dark in the parking lot. I thought, thought it I was mean, you. I mean, did you see anything? I mean... No, nothing. Yeah. Why should I have? No. Is everything all right? Yeah, no problem. Everything's fine. Good. That's good. And tomorrow, right? Yeah. See you tomorrow. Group. See you, group. Do you question my methods from time to time? Ah, my methods are your methods, you know that. What's your thoughts on Gordon Donner? Well, he's damaged, just like the rest of us. Exactly. Yeah. He's searching for a way in life where the good overcomes the bad. <laughs> He's the walking wounded. He's looking for a way to heal. He needs all of us. Hey, Michael. Oh, that's done. He's done. It's finished. I think Gordon saw us last week. What did he say? He said he didn't see anything, but... Okay. We'll 
take it to the next level. I'll talk to him tonight. All right. I'll uh, be at the bar. You need anything? Be careful. All right, Doc. Is it David? Well, we're changing things up here a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to tell a story. Samantha's story. My daughter. Greatest pain in my life was losing her. Five years ago. I can't even imagine what our face looks like now. It's true. They say time heals. But it also erases the, the freshness. The intimate details of something so precious. No, 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 please, no, 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 please, no, I, I have money. Get please, in please, the no, fucking no, 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 no. These are the two. who kidnapped Samantha. Jordan Miles and Carlos Juarez. Two small time thugs with criminal records. They kidnapped my daughter. Then they raped her. Then they beat her for three, three days. Three, three days. Then they drove her out to a forest and dumped her body inside of them. The rock. Rock. I'm, I'm sorry. I met Dr. Hobson four years ago in the hospital. I started to see him on a regular basis because of my blackouts. He's more than my doctor. He's my friend. He's our 
team leader if you really want to know the truth. Right, Doc? You're a leader. Four years ago, we found them. I killed Carlos Suarez and Jordan Nile. We dumped their bodies. I saved my soul. And my Samantha is finally at peace knowing those monsters are in that river. What? You could say I was, I was reborn. Is this some kind of sick joke? No, 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 it's not, it's- Karen. William and Antonio helped me find that drunk driver that killed my husband. His name was Norman Ferguson. And what? Yeah. I killed him. So, Michael, don't you have something to say to the group? Isn't that right? I owe you all an apology. I didn't listen to Antonio and the doctor last week. When Antonio showed me who stabbed my boyfriend, I took the address, went to his home, and I beat him. I beat him to death. I should have listened to you and followed the same path. I should have came to you all for help, but I didn't. Enough! I've heard enough from all of you. This is, this, this is not right. You, you, you people, what the hell is that? It's a file, what does it look like? Just read it. It's from the police department, how about that? <sighs> Who the hell is this? Boyd. This is... Boyd? Yeah. Gerald. <clears throat> is this, is this the person who hit David? Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's what we're saying. What do you mean? Left them bleeding in the street. That's right. It's for you. How, how can you be certain? I mean, I mean, what if... Now, look, look, Boyd is up to here with priors, all right? Drunk driving, domestic abuse, aggravated assault. We checked this guy go. out. We're sure. How, how, how can you be sure? We do our homework, Gordon. We do our homework. You can believe in what you want to believe, but that man killed your son. Yes. The police have been looking for him for over a month. And then you, you come out of nowhere and show, and show me a picture of a guy that could be of anybody, and you, and you say it's the, him? It's the guy that killed David? Yes! Come on, it just doesn't You want seem proof? Real. You want proof? Look at page two. Yeah, check it out. Look at it. Look at the invoice, the date. Look at it. He's a killer, Gordon. He deserves to die. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. The day after David was hit. Yeah. A replaced headlights. So what? A replaced headlights. Headlights, yeah. yeah. The police didn't inform anyone. You know why? They cannot breathe right now, okay? We fill in the gaps. That's what we do. Yeah. I mean, you fill in the gaps. Help you. They have 150. Did you plan this? Oh, God. Did you people plan this all, all along? What? To try and set me up to get me to, to kill some? You people kill people and then to Gordon, just try to justify Gordon, it with Gordon, people. Gordon, Gordon, just Gordon. read it. We really care for your well-being. Believe you? me. We're setting it right, Gordon. I don't know how to feel about you people anymore. No, you know God. what? Just read it, don't please. Don't leave, man. I Just don't leave. No, I am not, and I, I can't. I you sure as hell don't know what to think You're about. making a big mistake, yeah. man. I can't. Oh, and I can't. I can't. Come on, man. All right. Go 
Let him go, let him go. Right. He oh, will God. return. Well. Oh, you all shit. Did. Yes. Gordon Donner. This is my wife, Carrie. Yes, of course, a Donner case. I remember now. Well, there's nothing new to say about the case. Gordon. Mr. Donner, you don't have to come here every week. We'll inform you if there is any development with David's case. You know what? You're right. Gordon. Come on. We should never have come here. The system is broken. You're broken. I'm broken. Mr. Donner. We're all broken. Where'd you find him? That's what I do. I find people. Been doing it 20 years. We found that son of a bitch. Fucking dick. He's been divorced for two years. His wife fucking hates him. That explains assault and battery charges. He's a drunk, he's a troublemaker, he's, he's fucked up, that's what he is. Oh, and get this, he owns a gun shop. He sells guns. It's fucked up, isn't it? It's been fucked up for two years, till it all came to a head when he ran over your son in the fucking street. Is that it? The truck, is that his? Oh yeah, that's the truck that ran over your son. That's it, it's probably still has blood on the front of it. I'm just just gonna gonna don't get out, don't, no, 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 don't, don't fucking, fucking do it, out man. Of your fucking mind? No, I'm not, you I know what I'm doing here. Just close it quietly, please, please. We gotta do this thing right, man. We gotta do it right, we need to think about it, we need to be smart, all right? I don't want to fuck it up like Michael. But what the fuck you want me to do? I want you to be calm. What am I supposed to do? You have me sitting here looking at the, yeah. the truck that ran over my son. It's the process. Yes. You're going to get your date. Don't worry. You'll be there. We're going to set you up. It's going to be smooth. I gotta give you credit, Carrie. You are an amazing cook. Thank you, William. Um, it's very nice to have you here with us. How do you feel these days? The medications help. Mostly I try not to think about it. Uh, 
Um, so I spend time in the garden, I take long walks, and, um, well, Gordon has been very busy with work, isn't that right, honey? Yeah, busy days. Very busy. You're coping much, much better. You know, um, I've got this big condominium project that I'm drafting up right now. Isn't that right, babe? And in fact, I need to uh, have those drafted by this evening, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna hop upstairs and, and get to work on those, and uh, I'll leave the two of you to, to chat a little bit. Thank you for joining us for dinner, Doctor. Dinner was excellent, babe. I don't know what's wrong with him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for his behavior, Doctor. I don't... No, 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 no. It's fine. Work... puts his... You know, his... puts his head in a... another place. daily routine, what time he wakes up, what time he leaves the house, when does he come back, does he go to a bar, does he have any friends. How much beer he consumes? <sighs> Gotta feed the beer monster. Well, he's doing plenty of that. I can't believe he has friends. Shouldn't have. Walks like that. <laughs> and he always carries his gun. Yeah, always. Yeah, he's got to be squeaky clean because, you know, he's got prior arrest, so he's got to go by the book, you know. If not, they're going to take his business. He loves that gun shop. Oh. gun on him when he drives. That's right. Keeps it on the seat next to him. When is he without that gun? When he goes to the liquor store. That's right. Detective. <laughs> Very good detective. That's when we'll get him. That's when we'll do it. We'll set him up at the liquor store. That's it. Two packs of mad, man. 34, 35, sir. Keep the change.
Thanks. Yeah, get your own, Grandpa. stopped. What's wrong, sugar? I don't know. It just stopped. Uh, this is my brother. He has a chronic asthma condition. Okay. Turn the key. Well, me and your brother can push, all right? You just turn the key. Michael, get out and help him, okay? Gone. I got asthma too. Women drivers. Just come on. Help me push. All right, okay. You open the trunk. Okay, hello, look, listen. You just turn the key, you don't have to touch any other buttons. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys want to push? Brian, I felt lonely, scared, and worthless. The man that killed him was out there somewhere. I locked myself in my apartment. At some point, I thought I was working up the courage to take my own life. 
And then Dr. Hobson gave me a second chance. Now I feel part of this group. This family. I feel strong again. But I took my husband's revenge on a man that didn't mean shit in this world. The world is full of evil. They say that once you have hatred in your heart, it stays with you and never goes away. It's true. Now when I wake up in the morning and read the newspaper or watch the news, all I feel is hate. That's who I am now. Am I proud of it? I don't know yet. It's hard to tell. Good friend, Gordon. That sucks what they did to your son. That son of a bitch. You know, soldiers in war, in battle, it's kill or be killed, right? They do it for money or the glory or their country. You know what they really do it for is that son of a bitch fighting right alongside him. That's a good reason to kill. People fight, people kill for no reason. I'm not a killer, I'm not a vigilante. I'm just trying to make it right. That's it. And that was wrong what he did to your son. Oh. The world is a war zone, but you never know it until it jumps up and bites you on the ass. You know what I mean? that you do. Do not lie to me. Confess to what you've done. Call the cops then, man. I'll have my day in court, motherfucker. Wait till I get out. What the oh. hell's the matter with you? Confess. Confess to what you've done. Police! 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 
I want you to tell me the truth. Tell me what you did. Confess. I was drunk. I didn't see the light. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I have a son. I have a son. I have a son and a wife. I have a picture of him. You can look at my wallet. I'm not lying. I swear. Ugh. Ugh. I have a son. gonna kill him and he was begging for his life right in front of me and I could not do it. I couldn't, baby, I couldn't. 
couldn't do it. Honey. Carrie. I wouldn't do this alone. Are you the driver who killed my son? Yeah. Why did you leave? Why did you run? I didn't know what to do. I wasn't thinking. I panicked. Your husband beat you. My husband is a good man. I'm sure he is. I'm sure that he is such a good guy that you could convince him to let me go. Say a word. I only went over a look at you, broke my jaw. <laughs> he might, but I won't. Guys! 
That's it! God damn it! That's enough! Okay, she's gonna need some treatment. She needs to be quiet. What is it? What you is it? What happened to her? Keep pressure on us. You need to keep pressure on that. All right? I'm gonna leave you two alone, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow, Gordon. No, you won't. You won't be seeing me again. That's it for me. We are going somewhere very far away from here, and we are starting over. I want to be with my wife. Okay. But I need you to do one last thing for us. Boyd's almost done. I saw him. You live by the sword, you die. Die by the sword. Oh, yeah. And he did. Now, we're gonna take care of some business here. We're gonna start right here. Right there. Because the ankles are the hardest ones. So we're gonna start with the ankles first. So you gotta start there. Wait a second. And we're gonna take them off Wait a here. Second. Right here. Antonio, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about you helping me to clean this mess up. That's what I'm talking clean about. Up this mess? Yeah. What exactly is it you want me to do? I'm trying to tell you that. You killed a man today, Gordon. Do you remember that? Who cleaned that mess up? I did. I did it. I cleaned up your mess. You are going to help me with this mess. Like I said, then we'll get to the head. 
get up to here, we're gonna take that off, you're gonna lop the arms off, and we're gonna put them in a bag and put them in the river. That's what we're doing here. I know you probably wanna go off to the little wifey and go to Never Never Land and forget about all this. Is that true? Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. But you got some unfinished business with me and with Michael. We're not leaving him here like this. So I want you to man up. Mary. Mary Dawson. I'm Dr. William Hobson, the head psychiatrist. I heard about your husband. I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you, doctor. Do you want to talk about it? Feel it. It hurts. 